Hello people, we are working on a third lesson for MDC Game Jam and uh, we will start now uh, go to scene, we'll create one new scene uh, and this will be 2D scene We will try first to create one kinematic body and for this we will use Godot uh, a developed environment so kinematic body 2D this kinematic body 2D will need one collision shape and collision shape will be rectangular. For this movable kinematic body we will need one image and for this sprite can be used sprite 2D and we will define texture for this sprite also without uh, programming in GD script we will simply use this uh, Godot uh, design windows because we will only need a few of these elements when you create more than three elements, as I suggested in previous videos, use GD script to create it. So, this job can be easy. We will load one um, image. Let's find it. We will use this image. Uh, this will be some kind of movable platform. Now, when we have all of this selected, I am using middle mouse button just to zoom it and to see what we have here. This is collision shape. We will put it down there. So, just drag and drop it. And with a click of the mouse, you can set collision shape to be exact with uh, this image all of position for uh, this object will be at zero zero so node transform for position for sprite also we will use node 2d transform position zero zero and for collision shape transform need to be zero zero after that uh, we have one main node kinematic body and two added to it so we can um, uh, make sure that object children are not selectable uh, what will we get with this we will get uh, changing of position for all elements will be together now kinematic body is 9649 position and sprite is at 00, zero collision shape 00, zero, which means with parent node we move all other nodes. Uh, when we finished all of this, uh, this will be reset position to 00. zero. For now, you can put it wherever you want on the screen. I will put it somewhere in the middle of the left side. And now let's add uh, one uh, script, GD script for kinematic body 2D. Just click here on attack and you attack, attach, attach node script. And we will use a template. So let's use default template, but if you are uh, familiar with GD script, you can use empty without any code or without comment. This is no comment script, we will use default. Uh, 
and this default script have some code. Why? Because we use kinematic body as uh, as name. So what can we do? We can go back to this, or we can just uh, use a clear script here, and uh, we will detach script. So if you have uh, many script uh, in your uh, many GD script in your uh, page. It will be good to have unique names and default names uh, uh, cannot uh, give you this, so you will need to change names. We'll write it something like movable platform, so something like this. And now when we add a script, uh, with a default template, we will have a default template here. This will be extension of kinematic body 2D, because this object is kinematic body 2D, but a script uh, will have these de default variables. And now just to explain you how to simply move an uh, object on a screen. For this it's good to use kinematic body. Kinematic body have um, some functions uh, for uh, movement, but before using all of these functions, we will just change position. So when we have one position, and uh, when uh, we move it or change position, object will change position in a space. For example, if this is the uh, initial position of an object and we write something like um, like this function process so we will use input is action pressed means if uh, some key is used so let's use some key simple key uh, this is uh, for uh, cancel this is for down and etc etc we can use uh, for example page 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 down right up let's use up so this is up and what uh, will be happened we will use this object and we will set position and now let's see no 2d have option for setting a position with set position and value uh, value is uh, vector2 variable, so we will use one vector2, vector2 variable and position uh, will be somewhere in a screen. Where is our object now? Our object now is at epsilon uh, 197, maybe 200, uh, this is not important but uh, we will set some different value here maybe epsilon position will be different so epsilon position can be 300 and this is change of course and uh, we will not change the uh, position of x just copy and paste now we have vector2 variables uh, which will change so set position of this kinematic body if we use input action this is uh, this action use uh, keyboard k up so uh, let's save it this will be kinematic movable platform and 
now we on a screen have this uh, visual scene and what is happen if we click this key we say up he go down uh, but uh, as you see we have movement so if we use up we can change position to somewhere up let's say 100 and let's see if we click this uh, object is moving up this is one of the simplest way to change position of an object on a screen so how to move it uh, one of options is to use set position Uh, with the set position is one other uh, method. This method get position with a set position we defined value like a setter and getter is get position. So we get position of an object. Uh, what uh, is uh, example for this? Let's say we have some. Uh, variable for example we have some variable and this uh, variable will be some position variable so variable will be position and this can be initial variable so we will set it as on already and the position will be after using method get position so after using method of get position but from what from some object we can just use dot for initial object so dot get position will be syntax for this and we will have position to see if uh, this is functional we can just use print command to see if this is right position uh, we will uh, see uh, in output window this position and uh, we need to see if this position is x uh, and epsilon as are written here so let's start it and look in output window 107 197 107 197 so our getter is okay so we have good getter and now we have position on a screen this position have two elements x and epsilon element and uh, we will now uh, use x element here because so position dot x element because uh, we are not changing as x element we are only changing this epsilon and now let's see is this is workable if we click up we have uh, the same x element as here because we use previous set position we can also uh, change this variable and uh, write it like this so minus 150 to change position now we have epsilon position and this epsilon position will be lowered by, by, by 150 which means if we click key up our object will move up okay this is uh, one other options to 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 move uh, object uh, sometimes you want to uh, move objects toward position toward position which which means object will uh, change position over time uh, we have here this delta time we can use it also 
uh, we have function process process uh, and this process repeat itself in a delta time let's create one other variable this variable will have initial value zero, 0 and here this value will be increased over time and also this value will be printed on a screen if only if this value is lower actually lower by some amount let's say 150 Uh, with this uh, code, we will see what's going on with this n variable. And later on, this can be used in our code. So let's see and look in output window. What is happening in output window? This number is increasing till 1. 4, 9, and this is OK. We have good condition statement. Here, this can be used here. So, if input action is pressed, and so we will use other condition, and this is other condition. So, if two of these condition are meet, we will have some change and this change will be this minus changeable variable we will use changeable variable so Maybe it will be good to add a print, but uh, let's try with it. So number is changing. We will use once movement, other movement, other. Eh, then we don't have possibility to change it because position is used. And now let's see again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But whatever we click, this will come to this variable and don't move. Now we don't need this input. We will only use simple condition. And on a screen, we will see constant movement. As I say, this is only one of solution. If you want slower movement, you will change this number and uh, your object will move a little bit slowly. This variable can be export variable, so you can change on already variable to export variable and now when you create your game in uh, export variable you can uh, work on initial uh, initial value initial value is only good to to change uh, initial position Because, as I say, I'm not all-knowing game programmer or whatever. Initial position can be changed. We can change it to 50 example. And let's see now.
as you see we have initial position and this uh, will uh, change uh, the time of this movement also you can create uh, for uh, this variable which will uh, change uh, how long uh, this object will move so you will have uh, initial position set and uh, this can be some other position also this can be changed but uh, this is just for example I will not do it here K and two. Let's see. Okay, this is initial position. We can change it here to, for example, uh, to be ninety. And our object will move uh, only toward some closer position. You can use export variable also to step, to change the step of a movement, to move faster or... And this step movement is defined here. This will be a tree variable. Okay and now i think everything is initial initial position towards this this will be step okay and let's see this look good a little bit fast but look good our instant position initial position is set here on export we will use default variable okay uh, this is a simple way to have some movement if you decide to create a object to move on some action or after some action for example if your character use platform then platform will move you will need to add some other collision shape for this so let's uh, use another collision shape and this collision shape will be also here and also will be rectangular And this rectangular, rectangular shape will be uh, when you adding uh, some of elements like this. It will be good to reset positions, all positions, to initial, and then try to change some elements so initial position and we need to add this but not to move other and this will be added somewhere here so if some kind of collision is happening here Uh, we don't need exact precision now but let's try to be okay this can be maybe like this so this collision shape uh, will be some initial collision shape so when we have collision on this shape 
object will move, which means this object will not move because we will have some other variable which will have uh, which will uh, be false and if uh, this variable and if this variable is true uh, when we write uh, the name of variable this is exactly the same as we say this so if this is true then we will have a movement so when we see now we don't have movement see object is staying without movement uh, let me move a little bit here object is on a screen without movement only if this variable is true so if we have some collision Uh, we can use uh, input uh, is action pressed and then write to move equal true or uh, we can uh, complicate this a little bit and create some other object to have collision with this object and then have movement I will try to explain it in um, next lecture for this again Jane try to experiment uh, with this uh, knowledge if you are beginner if you are developer I believe uh, this concept is uh, familiar to you and you will easily implement it so thank you again and uh, we will continue in next lesson also just to remind you as some announcement about uh, game Jane you can join join game Jane in uh, this period before game Jane start also algorithm for game Jane will allow you to join even when game Jane start because uh, time for game Jane uh, this year is almost three months you will have enough time to create one very good game and if you have a previously created game you will have enough time to uh, perfect it or uh, to create some other level or create game more playable interesting with better graphic music or whatever this will be all for now bye bye